Did you actually hit record? Mm hmm? Oh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. It was on? Yeah. Phew. Okay. <laughs> That'll make the bloopers. another episode of Cocktail Hour at Butter and Salt. I'm Krista McLemore, and that's Kevin. Yeah, watch the lamps. <laughs> Today we're making eggnog! Actually, we're not making eggnog. Eggnog's made. I'm just spiking the eggnog. Yay, we're spiking eggnog! <laughs> I tried this once with uh, the soy eggnog because Kevin and I are lactose intolerant. Uh, but I've tried it with the eggnog and spiced rum, but tonight for the show, I'm gonna try something new. So, yay. I'm sticking with my theme of trying things for the first time on camera. I'm adding butterscotch schnapps. Yes, sir. <laughs> so first, I'm gonna add one shot. One ounce. I'm gonna add one ounce of spiced rum. Shocker. One ounce of butterscotch schnapps. God, that smells good. And then fill it up with eggnog. Use some straws, swizzle, and serve. You could probably try this warmed. I, I don't want to dirty it pot. Here you go. You know what that makes me feel like? It makes me feel so festive. For all of you out there who want to know actually what this tastes like, it tastes like eggnog with butterscotch and rum. <laughs> it's really good. It's creamy and it's warm from the, the spiced rum, but you don't get like the bam of spiced rum taste that you do without the butterscotch. This adds an extra layer of sweetness that's just spot on. Like the show, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any way that you spike your eggnog, just let me know in the comments below. I'd be interested in trying that because I love eggnog. <laughs> and remember to subscribe. But while you're there subscribing, and if you're already a subscriber, make sure you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button because that will give you notifications of when I have new episodes. Alright, thanks for watching my show. Can't wait to see you later. Bye!